Hi hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we will learn how to prepare the branch reconciliation statement in Excel spreadsheet. So, before I start to show you the preparation of the branch reconciliation statement, I would like to tell you some additional information related to this. Alright, we already know that there are the five steps for reconciling any statement like branch reconciliation statement. You can see here, alright, you can see that. Here I am going to directly jump into these sections that is under the debit and credit or aid or less rule of the statement okay so here we can see that if the branch book balance is given then the calculation should be based on the head of his book balance similarly if the head of his book balance is given then the calculation should be based on the branch book balance all right under the both condition the aid or less rule has been written here under both column you can see here suppose if the profit in the branch book or upper book then it should be added that is we should understand that loss in the head of his book similarly if the loss in the branch book then it should be less that is we should understand that profit in the head of his book similarly the profit and loss rule under this you know book you can see that if the profit is in you know head of his book then it should be added that is we should understand that loss in the branch book similarly if the loss is in you know head of his book then it should be less that is we should understand that profit in the branch book all right so there is an opposite relationship between the branch book and uh, you know head of his book you can see here and we have a two additional note the note number one and two the note number one is under the branch reconciliation statement we prepare the branch account right similarly we have the second note is if the first statement is start with the branch book then it will end with the head of his book Similarly, if the first system may start with head of his book, then it will end with the branch book. Alright, so this is basic concept and rule of the statement. So based on the current understanding and rule of this statement, let's start to prepare the branch reconciliation statement by taking an example. Alright, here we have a two accounts that is the head of his account and the PQR branch account. PQR is the name of the branch of the ABC Company Limited. Alright, so under both you know statement we can see that there are the you know some of the transactions which is appeared in this statement. So based on the these transactions we will you know identify the unique duplicate or any error transaction from these two statements and then we will adjust with this format which is the you know format of branch reconciliation statement and you can see that under this format there are the two sections that is eight or less sections under these two sections we will adjust the adjustable transactions after identifying from these you know statements all right similarly we have a two gaps that is this one and this one in these two you know sale we will you know write the statement for a closing balance all right and uh, here and here put the closing balance all right so first click here and according to our rule we have to identify first statement so here i'm going to you know select this statement as a first statement so based on this statement we have uh, you know two lakh fifty thousand rupees as a closing balance all right so for this click here and i'm going to type balance as per head office and now press the tab and now click here and now put the value two lakh fifty thousand rupees and now press the enter key now click here and here write the you know a statement like balance is per branch book or our book all right so here i'm going to type balance as per pqr branch okay you can see the name if the name will be written then we can understand that it is very specific all right now for this statement we will calculate the closing balance that is this balance after you know adjusting these two sections all right and uh, let me tell you one thing here i have written the balance as per pqr branch here why because we have started with the head office balance so according to our rule if the balance will start from the head office then closes with the branch office similarly if the balances will start from branch office then it will end with the head office all right this is the rule of reconciling any statement all right okay now click here and now let's identify the you know unique duplicate or any error transaction from these two statement all right we have found you know the two unique transactions in this statement and two unique transactions in this statement so based on all the unique transactions we have to adjust with this statement all right so here i'm going to start with this statement first okay then we will adjust this statement 
all right so there is not required a sequence you can start with this one for these two sections but here i'm going to start from this one all right so first click here and uh, let's review view these transactions all right so bank remittance which means the head office has received the cash from the pqr branch which is only appear in the head office account but not in the branch account in other words these transactions you know reduces the balances of the head, head office but not uh, reduces the balances of the pqr branch which means this balance creates a profit for pqr branch and according to our thumb rule we have started with head office but the calculation should be based on the pqr branch so based on this uh, you know analysis of these transactions it creates the profit for pqr branch so we have to add this transaction so click here and type the statement like cash sent to head office but not recorded in branch account and put the reference number mt has 28121 and now press the tab and now put the value for lakh rupees all right now let's move on to the next one which is this one goods sent to pqr branch by 1 lakh rupees which is only appear in this statement that increases the balance of you know head office but according to our rule or you know state uh, reconciliation rule we have started with the head office balance so the calculation should be based on the pqr branch so if this balance increases the balance of head office that means we should understand that this balance reduces the balance of pqr branch so that this transaction should be put under the less section so click here and put the statement goods sent to pqr branch only appeared in head office and now put the reference number mt hash 30121 and now put press the tab and let's put the value 1 lakh rupees and now press enter all right we are done from this statement now let's move on to the pqr branch statement so under this statement we have two uh, the unit transactions so first cash sent to ijk branch that means the pqr branch has sent the cash to the another branch of the same company all right by 1 lakh rupees which is not appear in the head office right that means this balance you know reduces the balance of the pqr branch and but we have started with the head office balance so the calculation should be based on this branch so this transaction should be put under the list section so click here and write the statement cash sent to ijk branch that only appeared in pqr branch and now put the uh, reference number mt hash 15121 okay and now press the tab and now let's put the value 1 lakh rupees now press enter right now we have the another transaction is which is outstanding expenses are paid to creditors that means this is an expenses of the pqr branch which uh, which reduces the balance of the pqr branch and this transaction is not appear in this transaction so we have to you know put this transaction under the list section because this is the expenses or loss all right so that we have to you know put this transaction under the list section so click here and tap the something outstanding expenses are paid to creditors but not recorded in the head of and i put the reference number mt hash 20121 and i press the enter all right how much 50000 rupees so put the balance 50000 and i press the enter all right now let's you know add this sale okay to get the value of you know add section and then we will you know add this sales to get the value of list section so go for this click here and press the uh, equal to sign tab the sum function and i'll press the tab and select the sale from here to here and i'll press the close parenthesis and i'll press enter again. similarly for this click here and press the equal to sign and put the negative sign all right to show the value in the negative arm and now tap the sum function to add the value from here to here and i'll press the close parenthesis and i'll press the enter key. all right now let's add all these three value to get the balance as per pqr branch so for this press the equal to sign tap the sum function now press the tab and i'll click this one comma this comma this and i'll press the close parenthesis and i'll press the enter key. all right you can see all right you can see the four lakh rupees is the balance as per the pqr branch which is shown here all right that means our preparation and calculation is correct why because according to any reconciliation statement the you know closing balance must be you know matched with the physical statement that is this one all right you can see this balance is this one which is you know same similarly this balance and this balance which is same 
okay that means our preparation is correct so guys it's a very easy to calculate it and prepare it that's all for now thanks for watching this video if you find it useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next video signing off